What's up? I'm Abe Kislevitz and I'm on the media team here at GoPro and today we're snowboarding with GoPro athlete Elena Height and we are going to be doing some tips and tricks with the follow cam. If you really want to get that cinematic follow cam, no matter how hard you try doing it handheld, you'll always get shaky shots. I like to put it on the end of the ski pole and it really gives that smooth, awesome cinematic follow cam. So today I'm going to be using the handlebar seat post pole mount and I've got the rubber gasket installed. And when you buy this mount, it comes with two of these rubber gaskets. One is a little bit larger for larger diameters, and this is the one for smaller diameters. And I'm actually going to be using it on the end of my ski pole to make a follow cam pole, just like this. When I'm follow camming, my go-to mode is 1080-60 wide. It's a perfect combination of high resolution, high frame rate, and it's buttery smooth. I try to get as close as I can to the subject. You really get the best action that way. I can't emphasize enough on just keeping the camera as steady as you can. Don't worry about chasing the person left and right, but keep that camera steady across as they pan in and out of the action and let that wide angle capture all of the action. All right, that was follow camming with the handlebar seat post pole mount with the GoPro media team and GoPro athlete Elena Height.